Last night at the City Council meeting, Alpena resident Cindy Johnson addressed the Council on the Freedom of Information Act material submitted by the Mayor and one Council member. Johnson said Walgora and Nunley have not been transparent in their recent FOIA submissions. She says the Mayor and Councilman Nunley have not been forthcoming with the FOIA information and have violated Public Act 317 of 1968. The act was passed for the purpose of transparency. Councilman Karshnik has not submitted any FOIA material. Johnson said Nunley and Karshnik have been hiding information on their employer's computers. Johnson says the information should be done on city computers so the public can have access to it. I believe that that has to change. I believe that it's our information that the, the city business should be done on city computers, city phones, go through the city server so that if there is a FOIA request and it can be granted, it should be able to be granted, not going through the hoops that people are going through right now trying to get information that does belong to the city. Mayor Walgora and Councilman Nunley have complied with the FOIA and did submit information, but Councilman Karshnik has not. Johnson believes Walgora and Nunley did not submit all of their information during the FOIA request, and she wants to develop a policy to change this. If, if it takes baby steps to fix this, we need to start somewhere. We need to start somewhere. So, and the policy has to be implemented. City business goes through city servers, done on city computers. It's, it's simple. It's simple. The mayor and councilman Nunley and Karshnik did not make any remarks after Johnson finished her address to council. The next steps in the FOIA investigation are to wait and see if State Electronics or Karshnik will turn over any material.